Hello, I'm back. What's good? Time to do shit. Well met, my lord. The wa old one bade me accompany you, if you feel I can be of service. Have you perhaps heard of me? You have. That is wonderful. Strange, but it does feel as though you and I have met somewhere before. You remind me of a good comrade of mine, in fact. A member of my royal guard, who became my lifelong friend. What is your name? Dry? A pleasure. May I ask one more question? As a tactician, you must take a wider view and direct your comrades accordingly. But what if you had to choose between a narrow victory or saving a fallen comrade? Would you put victory for for all above life of one? I see. You are a kind man. I would like to think we are similar. My own advisor, Jagan, would often caution me against yielding to sentiment. I know he was right, but it never felt proper to leave soldiers behind. I do not want to pay for all my victories with the lives of subjects and friends. Would you tell me more about yourself, Dry? As comrades in arms, I would like to know all, all I can of you and your plight. Thank you, Dry. We've only just met, but I already feel a special bond between us. When your when your wearing is done, you must let let me take you to Altia. I'm certain my knights and comrades would take to you as well. Let us fight together. So that was DLC 1. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's do some more barracks and some ports because that's what we do after such large events. Uh, Gaius is on the bottom screen. He says, Evening, Dry. You think the five second rule applies to sweets? Oh my fucking god, the five second rule. Me and my brother do that all the time. Sometimes it's good to stop a moment, get off your horse, and see things a new way. So Gaius and Krom, you know, you've grown very skilled. Care to pair up in, a, in the coming battle? Sure. Just promise you'll reward me in gold. Or, better yet, snacks. Okay, let me explain this support if I'm going to do it. I'm pairing these two up. I'm pairing couples up for a very good reason. When I explain this, I guess I'll go over this. I might as well. If you've not watched Fates, go watch it now because I explained it. But let me give you a bridge version. You pair up someone. They love each other very, very fucking much. They want to fuck. They get married. Something else happens very in the future that also happened in Fates. That's all I'm going to say. I paired up Kellum because... Why would I give Cecilia what she wants, which is Krom? Why would I give her Krom when she can have someone who's a little lonely and deserves the attention? Thus, Kellum and Cordelia. Here we go. Good. It seems that I have gone undetected. Oh, hey, Cordelia. What are you doing? Kellum! How long have you been there? Gods, but it's impossible to do anything in secret with this guy hovering around. Sorry, did I say something? I didn't mean to interrupt your training. 
Uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's my fault I got caught. Practicing your stealth moves, eh? Are you planning some sort of cover-up? A good warrior should never neglect the chance to practice all her skills. You never know when they might come in handy. Wow, Cordelia. You're so dedicated. Yes, but when it comes to stealth, you have all... You have us all beat. Yes, but I don't know if that counts. It's not like I practice or anything. No one pays attention to me. People just seem to overlook me. Oh, come on. There must be something special that you do. Not really. I just kind of stand here and fade into the background. Anyway, I better be on my way. Good luck with your training. Kellum, wait! I wanted to talk to you more about... How does he do that? You think that armor would be a big clanking giveaway? Facts, Cordy! I don't know why it isn't! Uh, Prince Marv's here, so... Yeah. There's that. But... Oh... <laughs> You have variants of ladies, man, and Muriel's. Well, Muriel. I wanted to see this interaction through. And why the fuck not? Varian? Oh, my sweet. Uh, Muriel, is it? How can I be of service? I wonder if I might ask you a favor. For you, my lady. I would gladly walk to the ends of the earth over hot coals and... I am studying... Prognostication. And need you to further explain the art. You mean fortune telling? Well, color me surprised. I assumed someone of your intellectual bent had little time for superstitions. Within the camp, your fortunes have a reputation for being especially accurate. Even if they are mere shibboleth, such oracles conspire hope in a people. This is a legitimate and possibly fruitful area of study. Hmm, well, if you say so, but I must tell you this. There's a lot more to fortune telling than staring at trails or poking at tea leaves. Please, my dear, I urge you to reconsider this quest. The path is a long and difficult one, and I do not wish to subject you to such an ordeal. You claimed you would stride across hot coals for me? Was that a falsehood? <laughs> oh, she's calling you out. Oh, not, not a falsehood, no, more of a... Uh, rhetorical flourish. So you are refusing my request? How fascinating. I thought my femininity su sufficient to ensnare your cooperation. Well then, if you will not proffer aid, would you at least tell my fortune? Now that, milady, is more easily done. To be honest, I'm more than a little flattered that you're interested. Excellent. Now, let's see what tomorrow has in store for you. Must you hold my palm while you're at work? I would very much like to take notes. Hmm, hmm, ah, yes, yes. I see. Water! Buckets of it. You are drenched. Be careful. Something valuable damaged by water. Water is vague. You must be more specific. Do you refer to a nearby lake or stream? Perhaps rain, condensation, a fog bank? Though in this gaseous form, fog is actually... Milady, please! A fortune is not a textbook. I saw water. That is all. Where it came from, I cannot say. Such answers would be laughed out of any, of any credible journal. But no matter. We shall see tomorrow if your augury bears fruit. So we will, milady. So we will. I feel like he's fucking up to something.
Well, uh, I guess that's enough for today. I'll see you guys whenever I end up recording. <laughs> I'm probably pre-recording half these things, so don't mind me. I will see you guys next time for some more Fire Emblem. Next time, we'll try to do chapter 3. Par <clears throat> Paralogue 3, fuck. Can't stop hiccuping. And chapter 8. Bye, guys. And, uh, have a good day.